everyone, we are in Hayden's backyard pool area. If you can't hear the birds chirping and the sounds of nature, we are about to film a Q&A today. We asked on Facebook and Instagram what questions you guys wanted to ask us and we're going to answer them before this guy starts his grinder again. <laughs> are you ready? First question. Okay. What was your first impression of each other? I'm pretty sure my first words ever seeing a photo of you was, damn, he's hot. So uh, I guess my first impression that you were attractive. My first impression of you was that you were uh, very bubbly, um, not shy. I put mascara in his eyebrow the first day we met, so yeah. not shy at all. What is your favourite thing about each other? My favourite thing about you is that you are very silly all the time. Always make me laugh. You're very caring and you're very kind. Oh, um, my favorite thing about you is your heart. Yeah. Because you're so kind and- uh, I love dogs. You love everything. <laughs> Mainly dogs. Animals. Yes, very, very true. You are very caring. Thanks. What is your dream job? My dream job would probably be where I work from home and for myself. I would probably say I would enjoy that the most. If you don't know, I'm actually a makeup artist. I got my diploma the year after I left school and I haven't worked that much in makeup. I did work at Mecca, which was really awesome and I really liked it. And the only reason I'm not there is because I got a full-time job at my other job at the time, so I had to leave but I would say probably working from home, doing like either makeup, like brows or lashes or something. I don't know. I just really want to work for myself and at home doing something makeup related. That would probably be my dream job. And also owning like 12 dash hounds would probably be somewhere included in my dream job. <laughs> Full-time job? Full-time job, yes. What's your dream job? I think my dream job would probably be something in industrial maintenance where I get to work in a factory, I'd say, working on um, cool machines. He's a nerd, in other words. Yeah. Big electrical nerd. Yeah. <laughs> what is your favourite video on our channel? anniversary video hands down and as we were filming and editing that video <coughs> we were saying we should have filmed our Versace anniversary video we should have filmed this we should have filmed that and filming our first anniversary would have been really nice because that was really cool but I would probably say our anniversary video is my fave I think my favorite video on the channel is probably the anniversary one as well mm -hmm. I think that was a really nice one mm -hmm. Dylan asks, when are you getting married? <laughs> Some point. I don't know. We've nearly been together for three years at the end of this year. And I feel like that's a good point to start thinking about getting married. I'm not in a rush. I really don't care. I'm not fussed. It's probably soon. I don't know. Don't know. You got any plans? Um... You were going to propose when we can get a dash hound and you were going to tie the ring to it and also simultaneously give me a dog as well as engaging me. Calling it now. Yeah, I think it's probably going to cost a bit much. <laughs> to be a dog and the ring. Expensive engagement. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That leads into the next question. When are you buying a dog? <laughs> as soon as I can. I want a dog so bad. I want a little black and tan colored dash hound short haired the day we move out of our home the day as soon as we get keys to our place i'm getting a dog what is that what i trust that you will get the perfect dog though because you know exactly what i want i do because i never stop talking about it no what is the funniest story you both have we talked about this the other day i would probably say when we met post malone is probably the funniest. It's not like you're going to pee your pants laughing, but I think it was just a funny encounter. We were in Sydney. It was my birthday, which every time I've gone to Sydney on my birthday, I've met a celebrity. It's really weird, but we got off of the ferry from Tronga Zoo back in Darling Harbour and we were walking around and we're like, oh, we'll just walk back to the hotel instead of getting an Uber. And we're walking along and I'm on my phone and Hayden's like, I think that was Post Malone. And I was like, no, because he always does stupid stuff like that. I'm like, no, you can't prank me. 
and I turn around and I just see the side of his face with tattoos and he like turns and I see the back of his head and I was like, oh my God, that's Post Malone. And I was like, let's follow him. You left out the part where you didn't believe me for like a well, solid 30 I seconds. Well, I really didn't. But we ended up following him down the harbour a bit and he got stopped by a few other people and I was like, let's go get a photo. We were sort of standing there and it was just so such a random encounter so weird and i think the funniest part is that once we got the photo and we walked away we called like everyone we knew and like facetime like we facetime dylan and i'm like that's post malone right there and it was so funny <laughs> seeing everyone's reactions and we walked away we just looked at each other we're like oh my god that was post malone he was actually very nice and no he doesn't smell everyone always asks us that he didn't smell but he was very nice why Man does of- everyone ask that I don't know. Man of very few words, though, but he was very nice. That's Post Malone That's right there. That's actually Post Malone. In the white hat. What's up, Posty? You got another funny story to top that? Our, uh, our whole circle has a, has a good um, shared bonding experience based oh. on a series of unfortunate events. Oh, no. <laughs> which occurred <laughs> at a house party. Mm-hmm. Long story short, someone got very violently ill and... Um, there was a lot of vomit involved and (laughs) none of the girls wanted to clean up. So it was just Hayden and Dylan that had to help clean up the mess. That was the mass amount of vomit. And all I remember is sitting on the couch and hearing Hayden and Dylan giggling. And then the next minute they're running out to the sink gagging. And it was just the funniest Oh my god, it was so funny. It's because we'd look at something disgusting would happen and we'd like look at each other and it'd be like... And then one of us would be like... And the other one would be like... And then we'd just fucking laugh. Oh god, that's that's probably the funniest story. What are your pet peeves about each other? Quite a few people wanted to know this. Ah. (laughs) Yeah. First off the bat, Hayden, oh my god, cannot sit still. His entire family just sit there and like tap their legs or just move like you can't sit still. So I'll be lying in bed and he's sitting at his desk on his chair and the whole room is just shaking because he's tapping his leg. It drives me insane. But his entire family is like that, so it's probably genetic at this point. Yeah. If our kids do it. Oh. It's, a, it's a disease. What's your pet peeve? Amazing, I know you don't need to say anything because there is nothing. (laughs) Uh, Stunned silence. (laughs) You're a perfectionist. Yeah, (laughs) that's probably a bad thing. Uh, It annoys me. It's very frustrating because things always have to be a certain way. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, it's fine, it doesn't matter. And I'm like, like, no, that chair has to be two degrees (laughs) to the left. Yeah, that also annoys me, but it's good when it's perfect. Better than not being perfect. Your dad wants to know who snores the most. Definitely hate it. Don't even try it. You, like, will just be lying in bed and two seconds later, like, in here is, like, dead asleep snoring. I breathe out of my mouth, so I breathe heavy, but I don't snore. I've heard you snore. That's a damn lie. A little bit. That's a lie. Like the way a puppy snores. Well, that's cute then. I'll take that. Excuse me, (laughs) you definitely snore the most. I do, but you do snore little kid snores. Thank you. It's not too bad. I try. It is an owl, look, it's sitting up now. Oh my god. Oh, kookaburra? I don't know. No, it's too big to be a kookaburra. I'll see if I can insert a video of the owl. See if I can zoom in. There you go, that's the owl that we're staring at at the moment. What is the most embarrassing thing you've ever done? My most embarrassing moment, I'd say, is when I accidentally mixed cold and flu medication (laughs) and the devil's drink. You forgot you took cold and flu medication and had, like, nothing to drink and just died. Yeah. It was a fun night, to say the least. I don't remember at all. (laughs) No, I I remember everything. It was great. It was great. But the stories live on in memory forever (laughs) probably the most embarrassing point in my life is any time on assembly where my deputy principal was talking because he would usually pick me out of the crowd if you don't know which you probably don't my next door neighbor was my deputy principal at high school so every time it was my birthday it was either over the pa for school saying happy birthday rebecca anderson 
or it was calling me up in front of everyone for something. I remember I got an award one time for something and he was the one giving it to the like the people who received it and I walked up and he stood there and shook my hand for a very long period of time. And there were so many occasions where on full school assembly with everyone there, he would just pick me out and say happy birthday. It was nice, but very embarrassing. I would say that's probably my most embarrassing thing in my life. Why did you start a YouTube channel? I have always liked making films. Like the first day that Hayden and I ever met, we filmed, like it didn't end up even becoming anything, but we filmed stuff just having fun. Like it was a good day and I never turned it into anything, but I've always just filmed stuff. I thought I was going to do film as a career. I was really good at it in high school and I got the film award for both years. Insert photo here. But I thought that I was going to do film when I left school and I got my OP score and I could get into the course and I sort of went, I don't know if I want to do it. So I ended up deferring for two years and I did my makeup course instead. And I never went back and did my bachelor and it's, it's still sitting there. Um, it came to the point where at the end of last year, you were encouraging me to do like beauty videos or makeup videos. And I didn't want to do that by myself because I didn't want to look back in five years time and be like, oh my God, this is so embarrassing. So we decided to film our anniversary and it was really awkward because we'd never like vlogged or like filmed ourselves before. But when we got home and I was editing it, it was a lot of fun. And we just kept saying like, I wish we filmed last year's anniversary. I wish we filmed this. And I do wish we filmed a lot of stuff. I wish I filmed my 21st birthday. So I think it's a mixture of liking filming stuff a lot, liking editing. Um, I would say it's a mixture of wanting to document the stuff that happens in our lives. And I think you encouraging me to make videos, I would say, is why we started a YouTube channel. Yeah. Fire round. Three, two, one, go. What's your favourite food? <laughs> cob loaf. <laughs> Buy me a cob loaf and we are friends for life. Cheese and bacon cob loaf. <sighs> so good. <coughs> Leave that, that echo down the valley. Did you hear that? Down the valley. Oh my god. To the river. That was almost as loud as I'll make grinding. Thank you guys for watching our video and sending us some questions. Hope we answered them all. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>